What's up guys, Event Ray here doing another video. Thank you for tuning in today. Today we're gonna to be going over Jujutsu Kaisen um, episodes. I've been watching the dub. Um, maybe one day I'll catch up with the sub, but I honestly don't mind dub too much. So I am a little bit behind on the anime. If these videos start doing like super well, perform really good, I might go ahead and do videos over the sub. But right now I'm doing the dub. This is gonna be over episodes five, six, and seven. Um, and I just want to start off and say, what the heck? Yuki really died? I mean, I, I knew he wasn't going to stay dead. He's the main character, you know, main character. But it was like super crazy that he died right away. There's a lot of comparisons with the animes that have demons inside of themselves. So you have Naruto, Kurama, you have whatever's going on with Asta and his devil inside of him. And now you have Yuki with Sakuna inside of him. So. There's a theme going on, but like none of those other animes killed their main character off within five episodes, four episodes. That's crazy. Right off the bat, he just dies. Um, so, I mean, at the end of the fourth episode, they didn't leave it. They didn't leave him dead very long. They were like, he's dead. Or is he? So I was like, okay, so he's coming back. So he came back. So he came back to life with the demon healing and stuff like that. So I was like, wow. What was Sakuna talking about when he said that he didn't need a heart to live? What was the whole point of pulling his heart out anyways if he was going to come back to life? Maybe he was really betting that Yuki wasn't going to take control of his body again and that he was gambling on that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand that part. But yeah, he didn't stay dead long. And um, Goji gets right to work on him. He's like, let him, off of the records, let's, let's let him stay dead. And I'm gonna train him a little bit. And I don't know what episode it was, but I like how, and I think it was episode four, he was like, I could kill everybody at the top, but they would just be replaced. I'm like, geez, this guy is like that? He could just kill everybody at the top? And there must be a bunch of um, pencil pushers. They're not as strong as the actual agents. They're like government people, basically. So they're not trained in the field or anything like that. Or vice versa, they're super strong and he's just stronger than them, I mean. I haven't seen him break a sweat at all. So it's definitely cool to see um, Fujitora um, doing his training and stuff like that. And I thought it was super cool. He said, I wanted to Rasengan or I want, and he pulled out a full Zompak toe from Bleach. That shit, that was hilarious. That was very funny. Um, I like how they referenced that the other animes are out there, but they are fictional. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I saw one scene he was watching, he was literally watching Lord of the Rings. So there is definitely some variety on the movies that he's watching. That volcano head guy, he really was in over his head. So, I mean, he got swamped, but I like how the flower guy saved him. That just shows that all the cursed monsters aren't bad guys. I mean, they have some type of code, they have some type of bond, and they're not all just outright monsters. I think that's pretty cool that they showed that. We finally saw um, Goji take off his headband I was like, okay, he has prude, he has blue eyes. I actually thought he kind of looked funny without the headband, because I'm just used to him to see him, him with the headband. So when he took it off and he had the white eyelashes, I was like, oh, it looks kind of weird, but he has white hair. Well, that's just me. I love his personality. He's probably my favorite character. But the main character, Yuki, Yuki is also pretty good. Um, I like pretty much all of them except for that the girl. I mean, she's only she was only around like one episode. Um I mean, and when they were in that, when they were fighting that special grade, she she was trapped basically the whole time. So I mean, really didn't get to see her that much. Um, but I don't know, I don't really like her that much. Um, I do like the brooding character. Hopefully he opens up a little bit more down the road, but I definitely like the main character and I like Goji a lot. This anime is pretty good. Um, I've heard a lot of hype behind it and it's doing really well, I've heard. Um, and I'm hoping to do more videos overall, but that's pretty much it so far. Um, we had, we finally saw Goji do his domain. So basically you take the curse energy and you expand it or whatever. And I'm still not super sure. I watched the episode, but I don't know. Everyone has their own thing for different things and learning the new system and a new anime takes time. Just like Nen or Chakra and stuff like that. So they're explaining it to us, the audience, how it works. And I'm still learning how it works. So, I mean, they said while you're in your domain, you have a surefire, all of your attacks hit. Oh, the part where he was like, you can't touch me. There's an infinity between me and you. And he was like, here, touch my hand. And he tried to touch his hand and there was just a force keeping the volcano guy from touching Goji. That 
was hilarious. That was crazy. Like, he talks a lot of crap. The crazy thing is he can back it up quite easily. With, like, no effort at all, he can just back it up. And I think that's, he's an amazing character. I, I love him. Like, a lot of people I've heard compare him to Kakashi. No, he's not Kakashi. Kakashi was a brooder. He was like an adult Sasuke, basically. This guy is not adult Sasuke. He's like, he's like an adult Naruto where the power of, like, he knows what he's doing. And, like, I mean, um, I feel like he's adult Naruto if Naruto's character didn't completely change when he became an adult and he became a stressed out guy. I just feel like that's how Naruto would be as an adult. But I loved his personality. Jujutsu Kaisen, still doing good. Just wanted to give you guys an update on some of the stuff that was going on in the show. If you were interested, still still almost a 10 out of 10 score. If I had to give it, I'd be like 9.5 because the whole show is amazing. The cast is amazing. Don't have a lot of plot yet. Um, besides, here, eat all of these fingers and we're gonna kill you afterwards. So I wanna see how they're gonna get out of that. Maybe he'll just be so strong that he can't be killed. Like, I'd like to see you try. That's the only thing I can see happening. Um, but yeah, I'm super and still interested on in what's going on with those cursed demons because they definitely have a plan on what they're trying to do and take over and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, that was in this episode too. Sorry, it's been like, I've watched these as they come out every ep every week. The scene where they were in the diner and the volcano guy burnt everybody in the diner to a crisp. I was like, what? Oh my gosh. That was that was unnecessary. But it was like, okay, so this this anime is not playing around. So it's not um it's not gory or dark for the just to be gory or dark, like it furthers the plot and I kind of like it. It's like the right amount of realism without it being taken too far. So like yeah, they burnt everybody in that diner, but that's just that's that that's cursed is a he's a psycho guy. But they don't do that every episode, you know what I'm saying? So I think it's pretty good. Um, that's pretty much all I have on Jujutsu Kaisen, guys. Um, I'm still catching up on it. In the meantime, I will catch you guys later. If you liked what you saw, please like, comment down below, subscribe, support the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.